Welcome fellow spiritualists, it's Damic the Divine Practitioner and today I'll be showing you how to make a quartz protection and cleansing oil. The quartz crystal has actually been used for centuries in the craft. Everybody uses it for uh, protection and for cleansing properties. And if you don't like quartz, if you more resonate with different crystals like selenite, Selenite can be used as a substitute because it's also a very cleansing crystal. I actually have a batch of selenite oil that I made for the same purpose. It's uh, for protection and cleansing, but it's different. They have different aspects to them. So you can definitely substitute any crystal that you want. You can even use rose quartz for its protective properties and cleansing properties, but it'll also add the boosting of loving energy into it. But today we'll be using quartz, not this big, it'll be tiny shards that I'm using, but you can use any size quartz crystal that you have or want to use. So first things first, you gotta get a container. Always cleanse the container you're gonna use. So I'm just gonna use this little, it's a travel size shampoo and conditioner bottle. I tend to use these guys a lot. I'm only making a small batch because I do have the whole batch of selenite oil over there. So cleanse your bottle or your container that you'll be using. Yeah, and it's so nice outside today. I decided to make a video outside on my porch because I don't come out here that often. And I should. So once you got your bottle cleansed, you're going to need your ingredients. So for today, I'm going to be using white sage, cinnamon stick, red rosebud. So here's some white sage. Need cinnamon stick, red rosebuds, then I have some dragon's blood, powder resin that I'll put in there. I have eggshell, so for those of you who don't like to use animal parts, do not use the eggshell, but those who don't have a problem with it, or who do use it in their craft, eggshell is really good for protection. I got frankincense resin, add that in. I have some pink Himalayan salt, which I actually just got at Walmart. You can get this at Walmart. But pink Himalayan salt is really good for cleansing and protection, but I also like to put a little bit of loving energy in there, so the pink aspect of it helps with that. And then I have some assorted shells that I'll put in there. Once again, if you don't use animal parts, you won't want to use these. But I use these for protection because the hard exterior of the animal itself adds the intention of strength and protection into the oil. Because I don't just want it to be a cleansing oil, I want it to protect as well. So after you cleanse, you want it to stay there for as long as possible and put a layer of protection over whatever you just cleansed. So for the first part, I like to start off with the powders or the resins. So we will add some frankincense resin. And I don't go off measure most of the things I do, I just add however much I feel. So just a small pinch there at the bottom. We'll add our pink salt in here. Just a pinch of the pink salt in there. Then I'll add some of the eggshell. And if you're going to use eggshells, make sure you dry them out really well. You don't want anything going bad or rotting inside of your oil definitely don't want it to turn into some kind of uh, a death oil in a sense because the death aspect would be added into there because of the rot so you want it to be pure and fresh so dry it out really well just a little piece of eggshell works and 
Next we'll add in the uh, dragon's blood resin. Let's see if I can get any of these little pieces here. It's so just a couple of pieces of dragon's blood resin in there. I have rose petals, some red rose petals. So I'll take three of these guys. Now you don't want to crumple them too much, but I usually roll them. However they're growing, I just roll them up and add them in there. Not only does it add the protection and cleansing properties that the roses have, but it also adds the loving properties that they have, and it makes the oil look really nice. So we'll add some cinnamon stick. And I'm not going to break it any more than this, just this whole thing is going straight into the oil. Cinnamon is a very good protective herb, but it also is very powerful. It gives every, anything that you put cinnamon into will give it an oomph. It'll just put more of an impact on the spell or enchantment itself. So now I'm going to take some sage and add some sage in here. One, two, three leaves. And then I add normal salt as well as the pink Himalayan salt because normal table salt is actually very cleansing and purifying. So I'll add a little bit of that in as well. You can already tell that this is going to be a really beautiful oil. Everything mixes so well and looks so nice. So now that you have all of this in, you're going to want to go ahead and add your crystals. I am going to be using some little shards of clear quartz. So I will do three. I always work in threes for most of my spell work when it comes to crystals or smaller amounts of ingredients. This part is totally optional. You don't have to do this part. But I add rose essential oil, cinnamon bark essential oil, and frankincense essential oil. And yeah, my kiddo is playing in the background as usual, so he gets upset sometimes. He makes himself angry more than anything. Once again, I don't do measurements, I just add as I feel needed. So now that we have those essential oils in there, I'm using olive oil as my base. I need to actually get some more olive oil, it looks like. So for your instance, you're going to want to fill it all the way. I didn't have enough olive oil out here with me, but this is the oil itself all put together. Now you're going to want to give it a, a few good shakes, get everything nicely mixed up. And you should be left with a real nice cleansing and protective quartz oil. Best part about it is too, after you put your enchantment and your intention into it, you can use this right away if you wanted to. You don't have to let this one steep at all. 
I personally do. That's just how I use a lot of my oil. So I'll at least let it sit for three days um, in the sun and in the moonlight. Make sure you shake it up at least once a day. But you can use this right away after putting your intention into it if you need to. So yeah, that's the uh, core toil. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it helps you. Bless be.